made three of them. Welcome everybody to Charlevoix Public Library Summer Folk and uh, our outside venue this year because of COVID versus inside and we ordered great weather so why not? Um, also, um, we uh, have two more concerts coming up next Monday and the Monday afterwards so uh, put it on your agenda. Whoever in charge of the weather, please order it so we get it here. And um, as for our performer tonight, he's he was actually on the list to perform like 18 months ago, almost two years ago. It was that, you know, then the pandemic hit. And we've tried to get everybody that was scheduled in. So uh, we hope you enjoyed our concert tonight. I'd like you to welcome, with the Charlotte welcome, Bruce Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Again, all my dough and left me in my stately home, blazing on a sunny afternoon. And I can't sail my yacht, he's taking everything I've got, and all I've got is sunny afternoon. coming out. I want to thank the Charlevoix Library. I want to thank the, the weather guides, whoever they are. And um, that kind of, I just do that song trying to get, kind of get warmed up a little bit, you know, get the kinks out. <clears throat> uh, what I'm going to try to do here this evening is to pay tribute to some of my very favorite songwriters and then play a few of my own tunes. First up, Joey Nelson. Who said, well, hello there. Now it's been a long, long time. How am I doing? I guess that I'm doing fine. It's been so long now. But you know, now seems like just the other day now ain't it funny how time slips away how's your new love i hope that he's doing fine i heard 
heard it told him that you loved him till the end of time. Well, ain't that the same thing that you told me seemed like just the other day? song that made people take notice of Willie Nelson. He's crazy, crazy for feeling so long. And I'm crazy, crazy for feeling so blue. And I know you love me as long as you want to And then someday Leave me for somebody who's better looking Has a lot more money than I do Worry Why do I let myself worry Wondering What in the And I'm crazy I'm thinking that my love could go too And I'm crazy for crying And I'm crazy for trying And I'm crazy for loving me Here's another song that uh, Fred Rose wrote that Willie made uh, famous written back in 1945 In the twilight Though I see her Blue eyes crying In the rain I'm gonna do three little parts, parts of three little songs, and then a whole song. So. <coughs> Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg Town, by the Green River where Paradise lay? I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in Aspen. Everybody's cold train is falling away. You might see me tonight with an illegal smile It don't cost very much and it lasts a long while Please tell the man I didn't kill anyone I'm just trying to have me some fun Dear Abby, dear Abby, my fountain pen leaks My wife hollers at me and my kids are all freaks Each side I get up on is the wrong side of bed. If it weren't so expensive, I'd wish I would dead. 
same unhappy <clears throat> now John died last year of COVID I wanted to learn a song of his that I hadn't learned before I come up with this one had an apartment in the city me and Loretta we like living there been years now since the kids have grown life of their own left us alone John and Linda live in Omaha Joe is somewhere on the road. We lost Davy in that Asian war. Still don't know what for. Doesn't matter anymore. Cause you know old trees grow stronger now. And old rivers grow wilder every day. People just get lonesome waiting for someone to say hello in there. Hello. Now, me and Loretta, we don't talk much more. Sits and stares out the back door screen. All the news just repeats itself like some forgotten dream that we've already seen. Someday I'll go and call up Rudy. We work together at the factory. What'll I say when he asks what's new? Nothing what's with you, nothing much to do. But you know trees grow stronger now, and they're wilder every day. But old people just get lonesome. Waiting for someone to say, hello in there. Hello. So here, walking down the street sometime, meet some hollow ancient eyes. Don't just walk by and stare As if you didn't really care Say hello in there For many years, I've gone to uh, a little offshoot of the West West Corporation uh, organization. Uh, it's called John Lamb's uh, Songwriters Retreat up at Birchwood Inn every November. And they bring in a staff of established songwriters to share their insights of songwriting with the attendees. And one of those people was a guy by the name of Michael Smith. And he'd been around many times. He'd been up there many times. And he was one of, just a fantastic songwriter. In fact, Rolling Stone magazine called him the greatest living songwriter in the English language, which is not faint praise. Well, he passed away last year, not COVID-related. 
I want to do one of his uh, most popular songs. It's called The Dutchman. Now the Dutchman's not that kind of man Keeps his thumb jammed in the land And holds his dreams in That's a secret only Margaret knows When Amsterdam is golden In the morning Margaret brings him breakfast She believes him He thinks the tulip bloom beneath the stone He's mad as he can be But Margaret only sees it sometimes Time she sees her unborn children in his eyes. Let us go to the banks of the ocean, where the walls rise above the Zyder's knee. Long ago I used to be a young man, and dear Margaret remembers that for me. Now the Dutchman still wears wooden shoes. His cap and coat are patched with the love that Margaret sewed there. Sometimes he thinks he's still in Rotterdam. And he watches tugboats down canals. Calls out to them when he thinks he knows the captain. Till Margaret comes to take him home again Through unkind streets a trip in Though she holds his arm Sometimes he thinks he's alone And he calls her name Let us go to the banks of the ocean Where the walls rise above the Zyder's Long ago I used to be a young man And dear Margaret remembers that glory Now the winter's whirl, the windmill's round She wraps his muffler tighter and they sit in the kitchen Some tea with whiskey keeps away the dew and he sees her for a moment, calls her name, she makes a bed of singing song a song. Song Margaret learned when it was very new. He hums a line or two, they home together in the night. The Dutchman falls asleep in Margaret blows the candle. Let us go to the banks of the ocean Where the walls rise above the Zyder Z Long ago I used to be a young man And dear Margaret remembers that glory And dear Margaret remembers that I'm a gardener. This is a Guy Clark song, by the way. I like to grow stuff and eat nice fresh vegetables and beans and potatoes and carrots and lettuce and cucumbers. The best thing of all. The best thing. And this year, I've had the best crop ever of homegrown tomatoes. We're now homegrown tomatoes, homegrown tomatoes. What a life be without homegrown tomatoes. I only two things that money can't buy, and that's true love and homegrown tomatoes. Now there's nothing in the world that I like better than bacon and lettuce and homegrown tomatoes. Up in the morning, out in the garden, one. pick me a ripe one, don't want a hard one. Plant them in the spring, eat them in the summer, all winter without a midget cool and every bummer I could go well, Now you can go 
lot of heat, that's for sure. There's nothing that a homegrown tomato won't cure. You can put them in a salad, you can put them on a stew. You can make your very own tomato juice. Eat them with eggs, eat them with gravy, eat them with beans, pit or navy. Eat them on the side, put them in the middle where the homegrown tomatoes on a hot cake do. back in the 70s when I was living down in East Lansing and he was playing a little place and I was absolutely blown away by how good this guy was. And I got to meet him in person several decades later up at Grand Retreat. Well he wrote this song and I want to do this. It's called The Preacher in the Flood. Well it's a story of the old hard shell preacher sanctified in the flood. About this time, the tear he had the year of the dreadful flood. Well, it rained for 40 days and night, and the last the dam gave away. Well, the preacher fell down on his knees, and everybody heard him pray. He said, Lord, Lord, deliver me, deliver me from the flood. Well, can't you see I'm sanctified, I'm sanctified. Live on me, deliver me from this 
and by that old river water came rolling in the preacher's door. So the preacher he ran upstairs to his room on the second floor. Well, the Coast Guard cutter came a sailing by and said, everybody get on board. The preacher stuck his head out the window. He said, me, I'm trusted in the Lord, cause the Lord will deliver me, deliver me from this blood. Well, can't you see I'm sanctified, I'm sanctified in the blood. Well, the bitch is a river and I've been baptized, I raised my hand to the heavenly skies. He said, no, deliver me, deliver me from this blood. Now the preacher sitting on his rooftop, things are looking mighty black. Water's rising higher and higher, things are looking mighty black. Said that. Peace down, peace down, the copper came flying by and they lowered it down the line. The preacher, he just waved him away. He said, boys, I'm doing fine. Cause the Lord will deliver me, deliver me from this flood. I'm sanctified in the blood Well, I've been to the river and I've been baptized I raised my hand to the heavens I say, Lord, deliver me Deliver me from this blood Blood, 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 blood Now the preacher's standing at the pearly gates His robe is dripping wet Preacher says to the heavenly king There's something I don't get he said, Lord, why didn't you save me? I put all my faith in you. God says I sent you two boats and a helicopter. What more can I do? Because the Lord will deliver you, deliver you from that flood. But it will be too late if you sit and wait for heavenly angels from above. Because I'm here to tell you, sister and brother, the Lord helps them that helps one another. And the Lord will deliver you. Again, deliver you from the flood. Amen. Deliver you from the flood. Amen. Amen. Farmer foot drum, made by Pete Farmer over in Cedar, which is near Traverse City. He also makes these harmonica holders. And um, so people say, well, how do you play all three of those at once? I, say, I don't know, I just do it. Here. So I'm going I'm to combine a couple songs here. This song was written by Johnny Cash and Peter Townsend. Since I was a young boy, I played the silver ball. From so poke down to bright, and I must have played them all. But I ain't seen nothing like him in any amusement hall. Well, that damn dumb and blind kid sure plays a mean Well, he stands like a statue becomes part of the machine playing all the bumpers all the plays are clean they play by intuition the digit counters fall well that deaf dumb and blind kid sure plays a mean pin Okay. All right. 
pass now. Okay. I'm going to try doing some of my own songs now. A few years ago, I had to, my 50th class reunion, and I started thinking about, you know, what are these people doing? How's he doing? How's she doing? I'm going, oh, how's she doing? And the song was going. There was a time when I believed that she and I were meant to be. And I acted foolishly. And she told me I had to leave. That was 30 years ago. Times have changed, but don't you know? Sometimes I wonder how she. said they were watching TV one time, just turned it on, there was, they, they thought it was a comedy skit. It turned out to be one of those commercials for uh, uh, prescriptions and all the side effects in there. They were laughing like crazy and then they realized, no, this is serious. And I thought, well, that's, that sounds like a good song. The, song. the name of the song is Side Effects. If you can't breathe, you can't see, you can't hear, and it's hard to feed. I got just the thing for you, I saw it on TV. Your life will change, you'll be blessed, you'll feel better than the rest. The only trouble is, though, there might be side effects. You might get some yellow skin, infected toes, or a double chin, muscle cramps, palpitations, loss of weight, and constipation. Psychosis, heartburn, loss of strength, and impotence. Bleeding, bleeding, sweeting, feeling, heart attacks and flatulence. Anxiety and double vision, purple spot and indecision. Trouble sleeping, narcolepsy, bleeding gums and epilepsy. Thoughts of suicide, tinnitus, nausea, sinusitis, rashes, flashes, fevers, and a, uh, uh, um, oh, loss of memory. Failure, losing, weeding, body odor, and constant sneezing, sweating, swelling, vomiting, osteology, and shivering, darkened stools, 
severy of mood swings and paranoia. These and finest pounding nightmares cause some diarrhea. Blisters fading, vertigo, hoarseness, chills, and don't you know, it don't get much sadder when you can't control your bladder. Increased thirst, migraine, headaches, lightness, tightness, staph infection, and don't forget those famous four power erections. You gotta go get you some of that stuff and don't you worry about no, no, don't you worry about no, don't you worry about no side of that. Yeah. Oh. All right. I was living on the West Coast back in 1983, playing in a band. One night when I was singing, I saw looking up at me The cutest little gal I think that I could ever see She had just moved from Kentucky and considered herself lucky To find a band that played the tunes that set her spirit free Well, it sounded like a winner, so I asked her out for dinner She said, sure, and hand in hand we strolled the lover's destiny We walked out into the moonlight to a little place that I like by the ocean where the wine was fine and lights were turned down low. Her beauty was an inspiration for my clever conversation and before long she said I think it is time to go. She said the beating of her apartment we should go to my apartment so I paid the bill. Creek 19 different times here and when you get there you're given a song assignment on Friday afternoon and you have to write a song and perform it for the group on Sunday morning so you've got le basically less than two days to write a complete song and perform it for a bunch of people you're just going to tear it to pieces when you play it so. <laughs> one, and there's always a theme so one year it was based on where you live and I, I don't live in town, but I have a Boyne Falls mailing address, so I had to write a song about the Polish festival. Right. And a song about a girl that was there every year, and she was a great dancer, just the best polka in the world. Her name was Kowalski, but she had a secret. So that was, I had to write a song about that. So I called it Kowalski's Secret Polka. Now at the Polish festival in August every year, folks that come from miles around for sausages and beer. At Railroad Street and Central, they put up a great big tent and eat and drink and dance all night. It's an annual event. Now 
Every year there was a gal, Kowalski was her name. A sturdy Polish doctor, she dancing was her game. But all the boys, they did line up the folk, go once or twice. She was the best there ever was, it really was quite nice. Well, I fell for Kowalski. Couldn't go to the bar, couldn't go to the restaurants, couldn't go to anything. Everybody's tired. I'm tired of this, I'm tired of that, I'm tired of that. that so I, I wrote a song called Tired. Well, well, I'm tired of being lonely. And I'm tired of these old blues. And I'm tired of being tired of what I'm seeing in the news. And I'm drinking too much beer And I'm tired of being poor and broke How I wish that you were here And I'm tired of staying home And I'm tired of being alone But most of all I'm tired of being without you Three chords and a lot of whining. <laughs> the song's called He Didn't Know. He didn't know that anyone could be so wonderful. He didn't know that anyone could be so cruel. He didn't know that she could be so nice to him. He didn't know that he could be such a fool. He didn't know and at the time, he didn't see he was so blind. He didn't think it was right. He didn't know they'd have that fight. He didn't know she told him lies. He didn't know she'd done him wrong. He knows it now. 
sad to say he's glad she's gone he didn't know that anyone could be so beautiful he didn't know that anyone could be so mean he didn't know that she could do so much to him he didn't know that she was only 17 he didn't know that at the time he didn't care he didn't mind he didn't think it wasn't right it didn't matter much that night he didn't know she told him lies he didn't know she done him wrong he knows it now Sad to say, he's glad she's gone. Michigan native. I grew up in Sheboygan. Of course, the winters up here back then were a lot tougher than they are now. You know that. Of course, one thing you had to do back then when you were a kid is get up every morning and go out and shovel the driveway. Well, I woke up this morning. I looked out the window. I saw the snowfall and I heard the wind blow, but I could not believe how much it had snowed. It was three feet deep all the way to the road. I do the snow shovel boogie, Lord, I got them snow shovel blues. I put on my coat and I put on my hat, threw out the dog. And let in the cat and I grabbed my snow shovel Started to dig Lord, I didn't know a snow drift could get that big I do the snow shovel boogie Lord, I got them snow shovel blues I ain't got no snow blower I ain't got no plow But I'm gonna dig out of here somehow I got to keep the shovel until the driveway is clear Cause the wife is getting crabby and I run out of beer I do the snow shovel boogie Lord, I got them snow shovel blues The 
This here's a story about a guy from the UP living down in Florida. His dad has a heart attack. It's the middle of the winter and he's got to get home, but there's a big, huge storm across the whole upper Midwest. Got no other choice but to just get in the car and head north and keep going. This is the story of this trip. The ball king, you bet, come home is all. This time is come, he's almost gone. There's storms up north, I gotta drive. Hope I get there while he's alive. And I got a long way to go. Goodbye, warm and sunny sea breeze. Hello, northern snowy deep breeze on the road. I'm UP bound, headed north to my hometown. And I got a long stations all there are are country stations pit stop truck stops looking out for state cops and now it's getting cold batteries farm field i'm headlights tail lights keep on driving all night factories farm fields i don't like the way it feels cause now it looks like snow And I still got a long way to go Now temperatures and flakes are falling Icing up and cars are crawling Money's low and gas is high and now I'm stuck behind some guy and I got a long way to go, but I made it to Michigan, looking out for potholes, stopping red bridge toes, tailgated by a truck or snow, I'm like well, really hard when I'm getting closer. It's a white out. I just had a light go out. Too much coffee. I gotta pee. I'm so tired. I can't see, but I'm getting closer to my home. I don't know how I keep going. Can't believe how hard it's snowing. Wind is howling, blowing sideways, drifting on across the highway. But I'm getting. There. talking about snow and stuff let's have a, a story about Christmas this is a true story by the way it was a week before Christmas at that pole up north. Everybody's getting ready for December 24th. This year was a tough one on poor old St. Nick. Cause the pole was melting. The elves were all sick. Then Mrs. Claus called out to Santa to say that her mother for Christmas is coming to stay. Could you jump in your sled, bring her out here? Oh no, thought Santa, but what he said was yes, dear. Down to the barn, check on his team. At least they were ready, so it did seem. Till he got to poor Rudolph, who was down with a cold. He was so sick that his nose wouldn't blow. He jumped up in his sleigh to check its condition, make sure it was ready for that upcoming mission. But a 
cord was loose and his foot broke it free and he scraped his leg all the way up to his knee. Sid said it to himself, you know what I think? This jolly old elf needs a good stiff drink. So he went back up to the house because the liquor was there, but he opened up the cupboard, the damn thing was bare. Seems that the elves had discovered his stash. They weren't sick, the little buggers were all trashed. But way in the back there was this one little jug of some really hot gut whiskey, but enough for one glove, so he uncorked that bottle and he went as to pour, but it slipped from his fingers and it fell to the floor and it broke into 646 shards. And the last of the liquor soaked into the board. Well, he went to get a broom, but from the door came a rap. Oh no, thought Santa, more of this crap. But he flung this wide open in there, oh, what did he see? With a cute little angel with a big Christmas tree. And the angel said, Here's your tree, Santa. Where would you like me to stick it? <laughs> And that, folks, is why even to this day at Christmas time we have an angel in our living room with a tree stuck up its butt. <laughs> oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how prickly are your I I've enjoyed my time here with you folks tonight. I, this is a beautiful location. Charlotte is beautiful. Northern Michigan is beautiful. You folks are beautiful. You're, wow, what a good looking group. I tell you. I tell you. Okay. We've got one more song here. Many years ago, I was watching Jay Leno. So many years ago. And he was talking about um, users of medical marijuana. And the largest increase in demographics was in a group he called the elderly. And not long after that, in our very own Kutowski News Review, I saw another article, basically the same thing. But this time there was a picture. A little old lady with a glass pipe, and she had a silly grin. And I thought, oh, there's a song. Well, he used to go to Granny's house, and I'd always get a treat. Because the cookies Granny made were about the best thing you could eat. Lately when my kid up there, well there's nothing left to tempt me Cause when I get to Granny's house that cookie jar is empty Granny's got a silly smile, it doesn't make much sense What the heck is Grandpa doing out behind the fence? Well I, well I re finally really realized just what was going on When I opened up the cupboard and I found my granny's ball. Well, it seems since she's been getting on, she's got her aches and bills. And she wasn't getting too much help from them expensive pills. Her doctor told her getting old is something that's not curable. But times have changed and you're in luck. Today relief is early. So she got her special scripture filled and she bought herself a bone. Since Grandpa was as old as her, she brought him on alone. They went home and did some hits, then munched down every cookie. Then Grammy stuck, Granny stuck, Granny smiled at Grandpa, says, Hey, how about some too much information? My granny, she's been singing in the choir And you could say that this group's never sounded real inspired Well, lately we have felt a certain feeling in their singing Could it be those special brownies that my granny keeps a bringing? She's got a tie-dyed apron, well it's yellow, green, and red She listens now to reggae and of course the Grateful Dead She's come to know that lack of money ain't what makes you poor. You could say that my grandmother ain't Republican no more. And grandpa's in the special garden out behind the fence. Thank you very much.
hope you all have a great night. I would say it was well worth the wait. Woo, woo. Um, two weeks next week is Claire Bates. Two weeks from now is Terry Coview, and he's sitting right back there, and it's his birthday, if I understand right. Yeah. Say happy birthday. Yeah.